What's hitting me? Oh, skeleton. Oh, damn it. Hey, hey, everybody. Matt Cribbs here playing some Minecraft on the Shell MC server. How you doing? I'm doing really good. We've been busy. So last episode was the first episode on the server, and since then, it's only been um, a couple days uh, really elapsed uh, since we did that recording session, which was a lot of fun. It was so much fun to be playing with, with everyone on the server at the same time, um, and that rarely happens, but it was was definitely a good time. Uh, but since then, everyone's been really busy, so um, thought I would take a little bit in and uh, and see where we're at. I think some people have made a little bit more progress uh, than others, but uh, I'm probably actually the worst. <laughs> I'm probably the furthest behind. I think I, I actually just, uh, I'm still working on my spawn house, and I think other people are like doing community things and all sorts of stuff. But hey, we'll catch up, we'll catch up. So yeah. This is the, uh, the the room where we, we kind of hold up for the first night, if you remember that. And we had all of us sleeping right here in our beds. And a lot of people have taken their beds since then and, and moved away. Uh, we got food going on. So lots of potatoes, bread, uh, pumpkins, uh, lots of uh, beef and meat and melon farm and carrot farm. And if you remember, huh, and I've lost my books so if you remember, we all got books, and uh, one of them had, I actually don't, can't remember if I left this in my final footage or not, but one of them had a series of quests, and um, maybe I should tell you a bit about this map in case it's unclear. So this map is centered around the oasis, which is what we call this area that we were teleported to after things started, and it, it basically has... Um, a pool of water in the middle, which we can go, we can go see. I'm trying, I'm trying not to give away what everyone's been doing, but it's got this pool of water in the middle, um, oop, sneak peek, uh, that is surrounded by a mountain on one side. It's got some trees. It's got, uh, it's got a lot of stuff going on and it's the only life in this desolate wasteland. The rest of the map around us is mostly desert out to um you know we, we took a look and, and pre gen it with this it's generated with large biomes uh and it's mostly desert out to you know thousands four four five thousand blocks away so not a lot and the other thing we did was turn ore generation way down like way down to the point where diamonds are almost impossible to find Iron is a rare commodity. Coal, you know, is coal. We're going to be using mostly charcoal because there ain't a lot of coal down here in the mines. Um, and it's going to be, you know, resources are rare. So we're going to need farms to uh, do a lot of that stuff. That's why you can see we have, you know, our bucket, iron pick, shears, and flint and steel. We have these as, as high value items and, and high value community items because the fact of the matter is that we're just not going to be able to get a lot of these things going on in the server, at least while we're in this oasis area. Uh, and then, you know, once we get out a little bit, still in the desert, but once we leave this oasis and expand the world border, there's a little bit more resources, but they're still not very common. Uh, and then I think the final stage is, is outside of that. Uh, we actually have it set up to double normal origin. So that's when that's when we can get creative and have lots and lots and lots of resources. But to get there, we're going to have a lot of work to do. And that's uh, that means community builds, and that means farms, and that means a lot of fun stuff. So anyway, that's the story of the map. Oh, I see a turtle. Uh, yep. So a couple things we did. This is where we started, of course. 
Um, we have a cobble gen machine, so we can just mine this block. Yep, and there's uh, there's cobble. All the cobble we need, which is going to be handy because <laughs> most of our tools are cobble, and most of our armor is going to be leather, and this is just leather that's been scavenged. Uh, over here is the mine shaft that you remember I was I was working on my first uh, first day, um, and then over here uh, is another mine shaft, and also there's a skeleton spawner. We were lucky enough to find a skeleton spawner, and uh, go check out Chuck's episode. You can see me hand, me and him making this discovery, and it was amazing. And I believe he's actually turned it into a farm already. So yes, down here we have a skeleton spawner farm. Oh, and this is amazing. Well, kind of, you know, I remember doing this in the last one, but we got skeletons here. Whoa. Don't shoot. Don't shoot me. So yeah, skeleton spawners, and we can just stay here, and and I guess they f drop there. Um. So yeah, that'll be awesome. I think, that is that where they go? Where do they fall down to? What's over here? I have no idea what's over here. Whoa, Enderman. Oh, I should look at him. Come here. Come here, jerk. Yeah, come here. I want to kill you. Oh, you fell down? Come here. Come up here. Uh, not you. Yeah, and as you can tell from the uh, the little clip at the intro, there are if if an area is not lit up, there are mobs everywhere. Oh yes, so they do fall down here. Sweet, sweet. Oh, and one hits. Awesome. So that's a great that's a great resource to have on the server. We're gonna need that. Um, but yeah, since it's so the world border is so constricted, and we're all here, and I see you there. Um, yeah, that creeper can, can die. Well, what was I saying? So yeah, since we're all stuck in this small area and the world border is so small, uh, if there's an, and almost everything is lit up, if there's an area that's not lit up, it turns into <laughs> a mob farm. I mean, it's ridiculous. The, the number of skeletons and zombies and everything that was in that, just that one open area we had on the surface at night was insane so yeah that's uh that's a thing and, and we're in hard mode so it's 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 uh, not fun um down here i think i believe turtles and and chuck also streamed or turtle stream this uh, i don't know don't know where else you could see it but i this is i believe the mine they were working on uh and this is because we're trying to find diamonds and we think the bad news is there are this is one chunk this chunk is entirely mined out from 16 down to bedrock, and there was not a single diamond in this entire chunk. And um, actually, some of the guys took a, one of the guys took his camera, Anthony took his camera account and, and uh, just to see if we were in trouble or not, did a little preview of just this area inside the current world border. And yeah, we uh, don't think we have any diamonds in here, so that's that's gonna be a problem we're gonna have to wait until we can get diamonds and I do think some of the quests that we'll be working on have diamonds as a reward so we're gonna have to look forward to that because you know what I really want to have we really want to have diamonds that's also kind of why we haven't oh this used to be another portal I think was it oh I thought it was Maybe not. Um, I forget. So yeah, that's uh, that's in there. Anyway, that's the mines. That's all the digging we're doing. Stuff around here. Out here, we have this little... I started <laughs> this just with wood, and now we've got... Whoa, creeper. You die now. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Um... Yeah, if they can spawn, they will. It's 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 horrible. Uh, but we have this little walkway that's been edged in cobble. Looks like we have massive potato and wheat farms, which is awesome. A great source of wood. Going all the way here to the, the current world border. Um, 
Now what's underneath here? These are oh, ha! These are just uh, these are just floating here. That's pretty cool, actually. I like this uh, terraced floating farm. All right, cows, you're a little loud. Uh, let's uh, sounds friendly creatures. All right, thank you, thank you for letting us talk. So we got wheat farm, we got potato farms, we have our wool farm here, which is very handy. Hello, sheep. Ah, uh, we have sugar cane all around the edges. Cows and pigs are over here. Tree farm over here. Looks like we need to replant the trees. Got some dark oak, some birch oak going on. Awesome. Awesome. This wall out here, actually, they're working on right now. Uh, Turtles and, and Chuck again. He's He's been busy on the server, man. Or at least the stuff I've seen. Anyway, they're building a wall all the way around where the current world border is. And then we're going to light up everything inside of it. Because you know what? The spawns are ridic. And we... Ri all right. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The spawns are ridiculous. Ridic. I don't know what I said. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get rid of that. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, here's the oasis. You can see that here's some other houses that are in place. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, we have Shakira's house. Very cool. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm not going to look inside everyone's houses. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do a quick peek. So quick peek. And if you want to see her house, go watch her videos. Uh, who's this? Slayton, Matt Slayton's house. Cool. Matt Slayton's tunnel. Matt Slayton's house must be up here. Ooh. Yes, it is. Ooh, ladders on different sides. That makes me dizzy. All right, so that was a quick preview. If you want to see the inside of his house, if you want to see the top of his house, go watch his video. Matt Slayton, down, down there in the description. Go check him out. Very good guy. Uh, up here... We have Clubber Stomp. Yep, Clubber Stomp's, Clubber Stomp's clubhouse. Nice. If you want to see his house, you know what to do. Go watch his video. Hey, and maybe, maybe if I get clever, maybe I'll edit so I have a link to their channel on the screen when I'm looking at their houses. All right, we'll see how ambitious I am. If I, uh, if I say I'm going to do that and it's not there, you can yell at me down in the comments. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, so let's see if we come down here. This is the mountainside. So this one side of the oasis has a big mountain. And otherwise, it's all desert. Ugh. I think we are. We were talking about building a mob spawner. I think we definitely have to build one of them. Because one, that will help with spawns. Uh, two, it'll get us drops. Um, you know what we need to find? We need to find a spawn, a, a slime chunk and make a slime spawner and just keep them in, in, in the house or in it loaded and not killed. That would really help. All right. I'll, I'll see if there's a slime chunk around here. Um, we skipped the house over there cause that was mine and that's where we're going to end up. Uh, but over here, uh, up, up. And let's drop down over here. This is Chucky Poo's Whack Shack. Uh, Chuck Musky. Go check him out. Maybe in the video link that's on the screen if I did that. Otherwise, look down in the description. Uh, that would be cool. Oh, that's my house. Don't look. And continue this walkway around still with our sugar cane. Uh, over here. This is Chateau 50. Chateau 50 from the Crazy Walrus, man. There's a peak. Oh, wait. He uh, doesn't have a channel. He has a stream. So if you did not catch him building this on the stream, then you missed it. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be back in here. Uh, so. <laughs> Praise be the moist pork chop. Oh, moist pork chop. How we adore you. If you don't know what that's about, follow us on Twitter. It's a uh, it, it it's a joke that may have got a little out of hand, but we love it. We love the moist pork chop. Uh, anyway, so this looks like the, yes, this is a little automated crop farm. Can I plant uh, potatoes? How do we do this? Just no. I don't know how this works. Oh, we need to put bone meal in it. All right. Uh, can 
you come here? Is this broken? Uh, stick bone meal in the back. I don't know how it works. Huh. It's supposed to be you da -da 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 -da, and it gets you. I don't know. I'll have to watch how to do that. Uh, I just don't know how to use them. I thought you should just go and like and clicky clicky and bone meal comes out. See, um, this is too complicated for me, man. I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. Um, or maybe someone will, maybe it's broken. I don't know. Maybe it's working and I'm just a derp. So that's that. The final thing that showed up. Oh, over there is the campfire and the quest chest, quest, quest chest, uh, that you saw us. Oh, there is one more house, uh, all the way up here. Oh, two more. This is the small crypt of Antony. So if we go here, look there. Oh, and I believe, th I love this hallway. This is cool. And then, oh, look, there's a house down there. Want to see the house? Hey, it's Anthony. Go check him out. And this is a really, really cool hallway. And then the final one up here, our final member of the server and the, uh, the stream, another streamer. Uh, Turtles, I believe, is building up here on top of the spire. Because, you know, he had to be the furthest possible away. And there's nothing here yet. So there will be. And that's that. And then the final thing that I want to look at is that. And I actually don't know what that is. That showed up here. That was not on the server. Oh, wait. There's another path. That path is new. I've never seen that path before. Sweet. Um, man, turtles, you need a you need a safe drop off of your. There's no safe drops here. I don't want to walk all the way down. Blech. All right, we're gonna walk down. Oh, there's a drop. Woohoo! Okay. Mm hmm. Look at this path. How nice. Oh, that's very nice. You know what? We need to build a path over to our house once we go look at it. But yeah, let's look at this. This showed up, and this is not natural. I mean, it's natural, but... Oh, look, there's glass under there. And here's bedrock. So this has to be part of the quest. Because otherwise... I mean, someone didn't just build this. There's bedrock, and you can't just build bedrock. So what is this? This is crazy. This looks like a, I don't know, some kind of shrine thing. All right, so what is this? Sacred, sacred, sacred thwine. The sacred thwine. Uh, and wandering walrus. All right, so let's look. Sacred shrine. The sacred shrine. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> the sacred shrine. Touch not the shrine that stands within the sacred area. Fear not the shrine that emerges from the ashes of destruction, for it has traveled through all of time to greet you. All right. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like a TARDIS to me. Uh, let's take a look at Wandering Walrus. The Wandering Walrus. There is a man who wanders the deserts of this desolate. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm not going to read this. Uh, read it. Read it. Pause. All right. I hope you had uh, all the time to read it. And I believe the purpose of this is just to introduce 50 to the server because he was not on at uh, the time we were. So that's uh, that's that. Can I break this? Would people kill me if I broke this? No, uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I won't. I won't do that. I'll leave it. Uh, and then the final thing is my house is right there. And if you remember in the stream, uh, the intro, 
I, uh, <laughs> I kind of whined. I was like, no, that's where I want to build my house. And I sounded so whiny and sad. Uh, but I did. I wanted to get that mushroom. And we kind of, we kind of claimed areas, <clears throat> areas while we were, uh, while we were planning the, around the oasis. And I did that. You know what? I think we need a, we need a path that comes off right, right. Okay. So it lines up to right there. Yeah, it can come out right here. So we need to build a path right here. That's what we need to do. We need cobblestone slabs and oak slabs, and then we will go over to here. So let's go swim to our house. So this is a experimental house I made. Um, I've never really built in this style before. I don't know what I would call it. It's not quite a modern style, but it's not, you know, a, a castle style. Uh, and it's basically, I started out getting maybe a little crazy. Yeah, and we're going to connect to right there. So sweet. Uh, let's knock this out. Um, whoops. So it started out as kind of an experiment in slabs. It's getting night, so we're going to sleep and go look at the inside uh, before we have. So it started out as kind of a uh, experiment in slab. And I thought originally I was just going to have, you know, all my walls be, come on turtles, sleep man, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. I maybe not. Um, but I wanted to have all the walls kind of be just open. I didn't, I wasn't thinking I would necessarily build a house. Okay, they left the game. Sweet. Sleep. Awesome. Awesome. So hopefully they'll hop back on and I can say thank you. Um, but I didn't want to just have a hut. I didn't want to have just walls and be all closed in or even with windows. Like, you know what? Those are done. So I was thinking, let's say thanks. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could just build a wall that was hollow and just had rows of slabs all the way around. And you know what? I did that and it didn't really like it. Uh, so I started with uh, these columns here. And you know, I could have put the columns on the corner, but I'm like, you know what? Everyone puts pillars on the corner. So let's put pillars a couple blocks in. And so that's how those ended up there. And then I was, you know, looking at the inside and still it didn't look quite right because I didn't have these on it, these uh, um, trapdoors. So I added the trapdoors and I'm like, okay, now it's starting to look like a thing and it's starting to look sweet. And I do, I kind of like this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like, I don't know, a pseudo Japanese style wall thing going on. But, but yeah, but then I ran in the problem of, well, if I have these here, I can't put them in these corners because originally these corners were just slabs and open, but I couldn't put these because you can't put a trap door here and here. They'll, they'll occupy the same block. So then I'm like, well, what can I do? And, and so I put the, uh, the stairs there. And originally I started out and I'm like, maybe the stairs should go like upside down or regular stairs like this. Um, and you know what? I'm still, oh, I remember why. So I'm like, yeah, this would be kind of cool. But then I realized that if it was here, it would be blocked. Oh, well, I don't wait a minute. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Come here. There we go. Oh, yep. See, if it's there, then that, that area is kind of blocked off and all you see is the sandstone slab. But here you can see into the, you know, the windows as you're coming into the door. And I really, really like this detail. Like, I like that. That looks, that looks cool, man. I like it. But... I, I like this. I like this zigzag kind of alternating pattern here. But I don't like this as much as I like this. So I think that means... Uh, 
I think that means we stay like this. I don't know. You know what? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you like this alternating zigzag pattern of the stairs and slabs? Or do we like the slabs, the stairs to be lined up with the slabs, which gives us a corner like this? Um, oops. Come on, back up. Or do we like this corner like this? Uh, so choice A, choice B. Um, and let me know which, let me know which one you think you like better. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and then the other thing, if <laughs> I put my bed up here in the mushroom, cause I thought that was funny. Um, it's a perfect place for the bed. Uh, and then when I was doing that originally, okay, so here's the other, the final piece, the final little bit of my original inspiration that added, uh, that I kept for this. Oh, and out here is just a little balcony. We're going to build this out a little better, make it more of a balcony. Uh, but anyway, uh, the final piece that I did is this roof and let me grab some dirt, dirt. Um, so originally I just made the roof sandstone slabs, uh, all the way here. And I did slabs on this level so that the roof was not a spawn trap without having, uh, torches on top of it. Uh, but then I'm like, meh, sandstone roof. That just looks so boring and plain. So then I, you know, I edged it with this cobble and I'm like, still cobble flat, especially I went up here and it just looked, that's a big pillar. I think Shay built that pillar. I'm not sure. Um, that would probably be the one she fell off and died. Yeah. Not having a good day, but anyway, um, put a... Yeah, the sandstone around here with the cobble, and you can see the sandstone in the middle still here. And this was sandstone, but then it's really flat and boring. So I'm like, well, what if I cut out a slot and put a slabs of cobble here? Uh, and then even more, go out a spot and put a slab of sandstone here. And I left the original sandstone just kind of as a, uh, a little, whoa, a little detail, a little architectural detail. Um, and so I have the three tiers of disconnected roofing material, uh, that together contribute and form a, you know, a solid roof. Mobs cannot get in here. Rain does not fall in, uh, but it's still light and airy and breathes. And I think that was pretty cool. I, I like it. I like the way that came out. Come back, come back to me, dirt. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's why... And that's, that's kind of the thing that I was thinking of when I just started with the slabs um, and making them separate, disconnected, but connected. And see, I think that looks really cool. But yeah, so that's my spawn house. Now, and home of, home of the McRibs, because that is the me. Um, so let's take, uh, what do I need? Oak wood, jungle wood, oak wood, oak wood slabs. Let's build ourselves a little bridge directly across here. Uh, what do we want to do? Down immediately? Yeah, we can go down immediately. Come here. Ugh, get out of the water. Digging in the water sucks. Or chopping in the water sucks. Come here. Come on. Uh, can't get out. All right, so yeah, we'll go down immediately, and then it's just a simple matter of boop, boop. No. Oh man, that one's underwater, and we're gonna have to chop it with a stone axe while we're underwater. That's gonna take like a minute, uh, forever. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we're gonna make our walkway. How far across are we? Almost there. Uh oh, am I too high? Oh, no, I think I'm right. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Good. No. Good. Ah. Okay. You're wrong. You're right. And now you're... Where did you go? You're stupid. You're wrong. Come here. Ugh. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. And then, ah, uh, slabs. Uh, and you're going to go there and there. Nope, not there. There, and can I get out? 
Yes, I can. There and there. Cool. All right, that works. And then I'll go straight across down at the, uh, uh, how are we doing that? We're just making them flat. Yep. So, oh, you know what that means? Technically, technically. Oh, that means I'm going to lose this. That little pillar. That's okay. So actually, these should be down here. When building get walkways, it is important to be consistent with the pattern that you have established. So, ooh, in theory, that should be like that. Then you can be there. And then you would be there. All right. So that'll work for a walkway. Oh, 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 I see. I see a place to put you. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, this one's a little weird. Huh. Huh. Don't really like that. Don't really like that. Is that okay? Yeah, you know what? That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I like that. The other alternative is... I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's try this. A stair. I do have a stair. And I do have more cobblestone slabs. Why do I have so many cobblestone slabs, you ask? Well... I experimented on whether these should be sandstone or cobblestone, and so I made a ton of slabs. Uh, no. Not like that. Uh, I cannot do this in vanilla. It would. It is on a... Yes. Yep, because of where that is, that will not work. All right, it would either have to be a block higher or not at all. Okay, so like there, that's how you go. Sweet. Now, yeah, that'll work. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I believe, actually, that you don't need to watch me build this. I think that's it for this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to let me know about the corners of my house. Um, don't forget to check out everyone on the server. They're all good people and uh, a lot of fun to play with. We're having a great time. And leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to share this with everyone you know. Tell them how much fun we're having. Until next time, I'm Matt Cribs, and enjoy. Bye.